Now we're going to take a look at decal textures. A decal texture is sort of like a sticker that you put on top of another texture. It's not, does it, it won't interfere with the mapping of the rest of the object. You can just sort of put place it wherever you want on a surface. You pick a particular surface to place it on, and you can change that texture separately. Sort of if you want to add like a, a quick window or a doorknob, or in our case a plaque, to an object without having to model the object or put a separate extrude or something there to map it to. So in the save views, we'll go to five decal textures. And we're going to be placing a decal texture right here on this end. However, this top object is a group. Go ahead and double click on it. And we don't want to remap the texture of this whole slab of stone here. We've already got it pretty much the way we want it. So what we'll do to not interfere with that is we'll go to the 3D modeling tool set. And we'll click the extract tool. Set that tool to its fourth mode, extract surface. And we're going to click on just the right edge of this here. Click that portion and then click the check at the top left to extract the surface. Now, this will, this will extract what's just a NURB surface, which is just a single 3D surface. It has only two sides. There's no edges to it. But we do want to move that out just a bit. So we'll change this from 0.1839 to 0.1836. And we also could have just gone into the top plane view and just nudged it down or away. I just happen to know that moving it in X will get it away from that surface. That's really the only reason. We just want to move it away from that surface. There we go. That'll just bump it further enough away from the edge of this that it won't conflict. Remember when we had the walls that had the same edges before the coplanar geometry in the OpenGL in the other model? That We're preventing that here with this little step. For the overall texture for this object, we want to change it from class texture to that same white gray rock RT. There, you can't even tell that it's a separate object. Make sure we disable our extract surface tool just in case. Go back to selection. What we want to do is add a decal just to that little panel. We'll click Add Decal, and see this is why we wanted to extract the surface. We have to use we have to use plane mapping, and the current object is set to perimeter, which won't work for us. We'll click Yes. It'll ask us to reuse an existing image. We're going to pick this, the plaque one color. Click OK. And now we want to do an image mask. Click this option and click Choose Image. And we'll use the same image file. So reuse an image and this decals color. Since that image has a white background, we'll click Transparent Color. And we're just going to make that white background transparent in just this little bit of a texture. Click OK. And make sure just click on this white part in the edge here. The black part would be transparent. The white part will be visible. So it should just show this little plaque. It won't show anything else. Click OK. And we'll name this plaque. Decal. Click OK to that. Now, you see this mapping? This happened because it just reverted to perimeter just for this one plane, which is not correct. So we can fix that with the attribute mapping tool. Click on that surface here, and here's our decal texture. We're going to want to align it near the center. However, we do want to make it much larger first. So the same way we did with the other attribute mapping section, just grab the corner and expand it. To about 6.5 or so is a little correct. Actually, let's make it a little bigger than that. So the scale is about 7.5 when you're done. There we are. And you can see the center here. We can just snap this to the center of the other plane as well. Now we'll click back to the selection tool, and it disappears. That happened because we're in OpenGL. OpenGL cannot show two textures on one surface at the same time. So we'll change our rendering mode, and we'll just go to Fast RenderWorks very briefly. There we are. Our decal texture is stuck right on the top of this object, and it won't interfere with anything else. We exit the group. It'll go back to OpenGL, but it's still there. If we were to render in, in Fast RenderWorks again, we would still see the texture. And that's really all there is to decal textures. It's very good for plaques, uh, just inscriptions, carving. I've seen it used for graffiti. Uh, anytime you have an interruption in a texture that you want to be a little different. And you can add multiple decals on top of one object. But generally, just one or two or extracting the face and then applying the texture is the best way to go about it. So you don't get too many textures overlapping each other. And that should do it for the texture section of this tutorial. 
Uh, next, we'll move into the last section, which will be a few solar animations and different presentation techniques.